Kwazulu-Natal former mayoral committee member in the city of Cape Town, Malusi Boy, has been granted 250,000 rand bail in the Cape Town Magistrates Court. His nine co-accused have also been granted bail. They face various charges, including racketeering, money laundering, fraud and corruption. The alleged offences took place during Boy's tenure in the Housing Directorate. Let's get the latest now from our reporter, Mariska Boerta. Mariska, a very good afternoon to you. So, of course, watching that court case this morning, we saw that all 10 of them have been granted bail, varying from 25,000 for about four of the accused to 150,000 to 250,000 with some very steep bail conditions. Just take us through what transpired then in court today. You are absolutely 100% correct. This is the third day, of course, that the matter is before court on the issue of bail. The state indicated from the onset that they're not opposed to bail at all in this matter. Um, they did, however, have an issue with uh, what the accused, the 10 accused, including accused number one, Malusi Boy, um, submitted to the court they can afford to pay. He said initially he can afford to pay 5,000 rand bail. And uh, the state did take issue with that, saying that given the uh, uh, alleged crimes they committed. We're talking about tender fraud here of over a billion rand. Um, uh, 5,000 rand is simply not suffice, and they requested the court to, to give bail to the amount of 200,000 rand. Of course, today the magistrate, as you correctly pointed out, uh, granted bail to each of the 10 individuals. Um, the last four fr uh, accused um, 7, 8, 9, and 10, each granted uh, 25,000 rand bail. One person uh, given 150,000 rand bail and then Malusi Boy and the rest of them, 250,000 rand bail. Now I understand bail has to be paid in cash or it can be paid with a card at the court but it has to show in the account of the justice system immediately. So we are stationed outside the area where the accused might appear if they are posting bail. We did hear from the NPA that they did see some of them already in the process of starting uh, to post these bail amounts. But uh, yes, definitely third day on this case in, in terms of bail. They all granted bail, so if they can pay the amount, they can go home. And as you said, very strict conditions. They must remain where they, uh, their permanent addresses are. They cannot leave the areas where they stay. Malusi Boy, in particular, is staying in the Eastern Cape. He indicated that he has a farm and he's not allowed to leave the Eastern Cape without written permission to do so. And they will all appear again in court on the 16th of October when uh, it's expected that more charges could be added. At this stage, accumulatively, they face 15 charges, but two more accused will be added added uh, to this matter, including alleged underworld crime boss Ralph Stanfield and his wife Nicole Johnson. They will also be added to this matter on the 16th of October. All right, Mariska, let's leave it there for now. Thank you so much for that. Of course, Mariska Boerta just giving us a sense there in terms of what transpired in that particular courtroom. And of course, she will give us an update in as far as who could afford the, the bail that was granted today. Uh, Malusi Boy given 250,000 rand bail and of course, uh, four others as well. One was given 150,000 rand bail and then the rest 25,000 rand bail each with those uh, stiff conditions, of course.